Welcome back. I'm Kashim, and this is Star Wars The Old Republic. Okay, in the last one we left off with the end of the Sith storyline. The Sith Warrior. And we finally took down Badus. Had to pull away his power. I would have preferred to fight him with it instead of taking it away and then fighting. But to be fair, in the before they nerfed everything down to kindergarten level, that was actually a lot harder to do when this first started. I, I remember if you didn't have your gear set up, things like that, you, and your companion's gear set up, you'd get demolished. You had to stay closer to right on level. I couldn't do that like four, five, six, seven levels different. It, it wasn't that easy, and now it's just so much easier. Everybody's got really good crafted stuff, but that's okay. That's, that's, the story is what we're really here for, not the how hard is it, because sometimes, you know, story's just good story. So, boom. We're going to move on. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Okay, let's go dark side again on this one. Okay, but on this one, we could go with this, or we could go with this. On this side here. Not a trooper. Smuggler. So it's a little different here. So give me a second. So what I want to do is an Imperial Agent that's a sniper. And then we can go with a smaller stature for this one. We definitely got to go with a different mm, yeah. Let's go with this. Change that a bit. Let's see what this clear down here. Oh yeah, that looks good. Kinda scars. We're a sniper, so I really don't feel like we're gonna have scars. So let's go. No scars. Fresh skin. Complexion is horrible. Yeah, let's remove that complexion on there. The body's fine. Jewelry. See if they have anything that would represent. It's kind of like that. Like Go something that would be sniper or have something to do with really good targeting. That's that's not really so much. I don't really like it, but I like it at the same time. Yeah, that'd be okay. I mean, it's a little weird. Okay, and then, hmm, I don't know, I was kind of, I kind of wanted to do like a cyborg style, because then we can go with our different pieces here. Let me go through and set something up kind of like that. <clears throat> it's going to give you high tech, so we're going to have high tech on there. You're going to be able to talk to the com companions on one side, you're going to be able to talk to others with the other side, however, and then these right here can be your your variables, your speeds, stuff like that. Your, not your speeds, but wind speeds, humidity, um, Coriolis effect, stuff like that as a sniper would need. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, we'll go with that. And then... <sighs> kind of like that a bit more. Gives these a rounded... 
body top type is fine. Eye color, I don't really care about eye color. Because we've got those things on. Hair color. Yeah, I kind of like it. I don't really like the hair, but... I mean, I can completely... Yeah, those eyes are, are fine. Um... Yeah, that's really the only one that I like. Is that one. Okay, and then hair color. Yeah, we can go lighter color. Skin color is fine. I don't care about skin color. Um... I want it to be more like a rogue one because I'm not... I mean, I am in here so something like this would make sense. But I'm kind of a rogue off to the side person. I'm not your typical... I'm not like a bad boy. I'm more of a out of the way kind of a, you know, style there. So I think we'd go with no hair. <clears throat> and we'd do that because we wouldn't want to be leaving traces of DNA and stuff like that behind. Stuff like this would just, it'd give us that military aspect of it, even though we're kind of, we're more, we'd be more like a contractor. I think that's fine. Make sure that looks fine. Yeah, that's good. I think that'd be it. I mean, that's kind of the, the bald psycho. And I don't think it would look good being bigger. Or too small. I think we'd go with that right there. So let's name him. Let's go with maybe Razor Reticle. A reticle is another type of sight, basically. It's the crosshairs, shit like that. It's something like that. Um. Yeah, because I don't, I, I wouldn't want to do something like Sharpshooter or Dead Eye or anything like that. Um, I don't even know if, let's see if it's even available. Huh. Well, I guess that's it. We're going with that one. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Okay, heard ya. Thanks. Jesus, fuck. There it is. The ultimate taxi. This is the beginning of the end. Tanovic and Pigsley. <laughs> or Hogsley. <laughs> Secure transmission established. This is Keeper. 
We may speak freely, Agent. Prepare to receive your orders. I'm ready, sir. What's the assignment? In short, subversion. You were chosen for this operation because of your exemplary performance during training. Imperial intelligence needs agents capable of working independently in the field. Now you apply your training to the real world. Nemro the Hutt and his organization run Jaguna, and you're in town to convince Nemro to supply the Empire. I understand. How do I proceed? We need to know what Nemro and his advisors are thinking before we can act. I want you to obtain access to the Nemro clan's inner circle. You require a cover identity. One of our contacts, an alien named Jig, has prepared a background for you and will provide the details. How do I find him? Jig will be waiting for you at a safe house. Locate him, take what he offers, then report to me. Are we sure this contact is trustworthy? Jig won't betray us. Whether he succeeds at his assigned tasks is another matter. I'd be more concerned with the rest of the populace. Most of Jaguna is caught up in a turf war. Some of the gangs involved belong to the huts. Others are independent. Your combat training should see you through, but expect brutality and expect to be targeted. Jaguna isn't friendly to strangers. Now, find Jig and report back to me. Keep her out. He's all gangster. Keep her out. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let me set up my screen here, because... What the... Okay, we have Hotel California here all set up. I think he'll look just fine. Let's go over here and get our secret, secret identity. This is too easy. Nice. Real nice. I'm listening. Ha, huh, how's that? What do I have to do? Sorry, I just hate this. Get I on. hate these bar blah, 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 no, It's Jesus, dude. Okay, let's take her and switch her from easy, from hills to, uh, no, not that, um, roll, switch this bitch to damage, let her fuck some shit up. Am I even in the, I, why did I go in this building? Let's get rid of this. Really? Go in the correct building over here. This is too easy. Tear him up, girlfriend. Shit, I needed. Hold on. And the fight is upon us. Come on, lady, this hurry up. Too easy. I got time for that. Hammered dog shit. Yoy to the world. The motherfucker dead. Okay, so. Go back to stinky. Ooh, green and shiny. We like green. Ooh, a pair of pants. Yeah. Take 15 bucks, call it good. Small seal pop. I yeah. understand you corrected his mishandling of the situation, Agent. We will now proceed. Acknowledged and understood. Your next task is to access Nemo's inner circle. Present yourself to the hut as a fellow gangster, the Red Blade, and offer him Jig's gifts. 
One of the gifts is implanted with a listening device, which we will use to monitor conversations within Nemro's palace. Are you listening for something specific? At this juncture, our primary goal is to find weaknesses in Nemro's organization. Even if the Hut won't join us, we might influence his lieutenants. Talk to Nemro and his men. Determine who we can turn and how we can sway them. We will be listening. I'll be back once I learn anything. Be careful what you say. And lose the accent. When you're in the Hut Palace, you're no longer an Imperial. Contact me from the cantina once Nemro has his presence. Keep her out. Oh, ain't that a bitch. <coughs> Alright, let's move this down here. But oop. Okay, so we're gonna have to change some shit up. Okay, we're gonna... We're dressed a little more... Thuggish. We don't want to look too poor, because we are a successful thug. So we got this gear kicked back on. We'll keep the fancy gear off for now. All the way into the palace. The palace of that's some bullshit. The pirate's on his way. Security droids say he's armed, but he won't be trouble. Let's hope not. Here he is now. I'll go tell the boss. This is Carol's. Tell the throne room that the blades arrived. The blade. When Nemro shows, stay at least five meters back and don't come up unless you're called. One wrong move and you're a pile of ash. I understand. I'm not here to cause trouble. Just going over the rules. You've got a reputation, and we don't want any problems. Allow me to present Nemro the Hutt, the illustrious crime king of Jaguna. Yeah, okay. Trinkets, great Nemro, nothing more. Not bad. Nemro, the adults here are real orodium. The cloth looks like. Manama Asha Bijo. Kipuna Malituta Odmishka Kavano Tasema. I'm I'm very grateful. You got quite a place here. <laughs> Looks like your audience with Nemro is over. You'll have to forgive the interruption. I've been working for that hut since he killed my gang when I was 13. Trust me, you can't talk to him when he's like this. Seems like your boss has some temper. Why stay with him? Because Nimrod's got power and smarts, along with his temper. I like things a little more orderly than he does, but I don't complain. We're having trouble with the Fathra clan, and it's getting to all of us. Fathra's out of line, but the Hut cartel hasn't bothered to interfere. That's a real shame. Must make life difficult for you. You're not kidding. The attacks are bad enough, but Nimrod's temper could turn a crisis into a bloodbath. Now look... I need to work up new plans with security, and keep an eye on Tothlajin to keep him from suggesting anything stupid. In the meantime, you're a guest, and you've got our permission to do business here. You got the run of the palace, so I'll see you around.
Yeah, you better run. <laughs> All right. I'm telling you, baby, I'm big time. Moving up, climbing the ladder. Yeah, that's why you're hanging out in a damn bar, because you're so moved up. Somebody booby trapping some shit with some listening devices? I don't think so. Not on my watch, you rat. There's always one on the desk. Ah, I knew it. What do we got over here? Nothing. Got him. Well done, Agent. The listening device is working perfectly, and Nemro can keep no more secrets from us. Imperial Intelligence has determined that Nemro's human lieutenant, Carlos Jarvis, is the weak link in his operation. You're going to twist the man until he serves us. He won't be any trouble to manipulate. Unfortunately, Carols is on the verge of disfavor with Nemro, while the Twi'lek Lieutenant Tuflijan, I believe, is Nemro's rising star. I want you to go to Carols and offer your services as the Red Blade. Do whatever is required to bring Carols glory in Nemro's eyes. What does Nemro have against Carols? Carols' work has been suffering due to the interference of the Fothric clan. Nemro finds that an unacceptable excuse for failure. One other thing, Agent, this operation of ours has drawn the attention of a member of the Dark Council, Darth Jadus himself. The Council's authority is second only to that of the Emperor. It's a rare honor for an intelligence operation to be overseen in this way. I believe I understand, sir. I won't disappoint you. Report back once you've rendered whatever aid Carol's requires. Keep her out. <laughs> Kablamo. Don't be in such a hurry, Blade. Don't you remember me, your old buddy, Dino Ray? Now you haven't aged well since we met up on Hoth. Your nose and your skin. But you couldn't be an imposter. You know your friend Dino. Get out of my way. I'm doing business with Nemro now. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot about the Red Blade's visit to Hutta, which puts me in a bind. You see, you don't look like the Blade I know. The Blade who owes me credits. But you say you're the Blade, so I'll take you at your word and ask for my money. You understand? Maybe we can deal. How much money are we talking about? Let's see. I could factor in interest, what you did to my ship. But that's not how pals do things. Yeah, I don't know where the real blade is, and I don't care. But if you want me to keep your secret, I'll need enough credits to keep me comfortable. Okay. I don't have a choice. I can't let you talk. Is that so? Well, let's see what you can do, blade. Okay, Junior. I'll let my girlfriend beat you up. Challenge. Well, that was boring and uneventful. Dipshit. Blade, come on over. Glad to see you're enjoying the palace. You damn Look, right. I only got five minutes before I have to go meet with some alien freaks. And I want to ask you something. You've been around the galaxy a few times. What's it like dealing with the Empire? Did you just call me a slut? It's been good business, and the government hasn't given me much trouble. You're one of the last real independents. I admire you for that, but your kind is dying out. 
The Huts have taken control of the gangs, and I think real soon the Republican Empire will want control of the Huts, even if Nimrod won't believe it. So, if we gotta pick a side, I wanna pick a winner, and I don't see the Empire losing. Like it or not, the Empire does seem to be the future. I hope so, and not just because of business either. My sons are free traders. They're doing business in the Sullis system. It's their first time dealing with the Empire, so I worry. I probably shouldn't. But you came to me for a reason. What can I do for you, Blade? You know Hutta pretty well, but you don't have my skills. I thought we could partner up for a job. Is that right? <laughs> Normally I wouldn't, but lately I could use someone who works alone and gets results. Nemro's been stewing in his slime since we lost a shipment of rare ores in the Evokai lands. He blames me for some reason. Now the Evokai, they're Hutta natives from before the cartel came. They mostly want us dead. If you get that shipment back, I'll pay you good. All right, I'm interested. And maybe we both come out ahead. There's a work camp outside Jaguna. Nimro set it up for some evil Kai who wanted peace. Bad deal, poor rubes. The chief there, Odef, was supposed to talk to the other evil Kai tribes about returning the ore, but he didn't come through. He knows something, though. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment to keep. But I look forward to seeing if the Red Blade's as good as they say. You damn right. Whoever the hell that is. Okay, I need to do one more little thing here before we head out. Okay, I decided to switch it up. We're gonna go with this style here. Put that down. I figured we'd go with this. And then... For our imperial business. We can go with just the generic standard... Imperial look. The agent look. We'll have the agent look still. Then our undercover style can be this. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go kick some ass and take some names. Let's go kick some names and eat some ass. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Eat the ass. Come on, I got a car. Let's drive. Though I do like the jetpack. I, I don't know. It just doesn't... Maybe you think it does. Maybe you think it doesn't. I don't know. Show collected. Let's go with... Good God, man. You got a mess going in here. Close that. That. Maybe this style here. Let's check that out. Abilities, vehicles. Pop this bad boy out for now. I think that's the closest I got to a bike. I have to a bike, not got to. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, donkey. Let's go over here and kick somebody's ass. Somebody needs a beaten. And stay down. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, you died. Sweet. Right in the eye. Alright. Stop screwing around. Would you? What the hell? Hmm. So we could take that completely off of there. It used to change. When you click it, it would change. So you, this would it'd turn into this. And I like that so much better than this.
You said you were going to get the ore back. Bam! Beat his ass. I have done all I can. They, the other tribes, will not listen. If you say so. Hey, you the Red Blade. Heard you were coming. Thought we'd soften up the chief for you. Good guy. Right. Bad it guy. looks pretty dangerous. Get out of here. Yeah, no, we're not that good. Jesus Christ, You said you were going to get the ore back. Yeah, <laughs> we did. Carol sent me. I'll take it from here. It's all yours. I? I am Odef of the Evil Kai. Leader of the Vom. Sacred keeper of histories. I greet you in peace and I am grateful. Are you alright? Do you need a doctor? No. Thank you. But no. You've come about the oars, I think. I swear it was one of the other tribes who attacked your shipment. Evokai who refused peace. In gratitude to Nemro for all he has done. I spoke to my misguided brothers, but they will not return Nemro's medals. It's, it's okay. You tried your best. What went wrong? The tribes. They stole the shipment to spite the huts and to use for themselves. They will make weapons, machines. They took the metals to their great village in the swamps. Only a beast or a shadow can enter. Seek the shipment there if you wish. Thank you. You've been a great help. I only do my part. I only want peace. Yeah, me too. Peace, love, tranquility. Oh, sorry, I threw up a little. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. Let's go over here and terrorize the neighborhood, shall we? This is too easy. Hell yeah, it is. You're so powerful, girl. You're the bomb diggity. Nobody asked you. Lay down. Okay, give me that. Thank you. Clean up this mess. And stay down. This is too easy. Boom. Oh, that hurt, didn't Not it? Not even a challenge. Ooh, free EXP. <laughs> there it is. Handled. We're gonna jet back over to here. Ta-da! Slow down, Blade. Stay with me a while. We haven't had a chance to talk. I'm Kaleo. Nemro puts me in charge of the good stuff. His guns, his troops, the safety of his little palace. You can spare some time for me, right? Who am I to say no to a woman like you? Good answer. People who say no are never very interesting. You've got a nasty reputation, you know. I hear you went and murdered poor Dino Ray right on this spot. What was that about, Blade? Dino and I go way back. He had it coming. It's too bad. He had a pretty face before you messed with it. Me. I'm betting you and Dino had something else going on. You had a reason for coming to Nemro's house. Maybe money. Maybe power. I like to think you'll be trouble, Blade. You'll be bloodthirsty. Treacherous. Because I could enjoy keeping an eye on a bloodthirsty, treacherous pirate. Hmm. Well, I could enjoy being watched. Hmm. Maybe we'll get along after all. If you are trouble, take your time. I'd hate to stick a blaster to your head or a slave collar around your neck before I've seen everything you can do. That's all I wanted to say. You can go now. It's been a pleasure, Kaleo. 
Of course it has. <laughs> She's a little hottie. She's a little naughty. Fathra will not stop his mining operations. He's going to keep tapping our gas pocket and cut our supply in half. Oh, kakiza spida perupa. Kadwa shiniko higa danulia. Don't play dumb with me, Tafajan. Fathra doesn't need to steal our customers if he doesn't leave us any gas to sell, and we can't uproot him without help. Hunyu kichawa joto jamba. Idiot. Sorry about Tothlajan, Blade. Legitimate business brings out the worst in us. Makes me miss actual crime, you know? But it looks like you're about to brighten my day. You find the shipment? I have you it right here. Bet your bottom right dollar. Here. The fee's been transferred to your account. You'll have access by the time you're back at your apartments. You earned every credit. I'd buy you a drink in the cantina, but I need to have a chat with Nimro. We should talk more another time, though. You do good work. Always looking for business. Just say the word, Carols. Then I'll see you when I see you. Yep, bye. You big old purple turd. I don't know if I need any of your money. I mean, I got 104 million on me. Alright, let's go in here. Let the boss man yell at us. And slap us around a little. The operation is proceeding well, Agent. Thanks to your intervention, Carol's Jarvis will once again have Nemro's ear. I took note of your meeting with Nemro Security Chief Kaleo. You handled yourself well. Still be on your guard. We've identified her as a freelance assassin, enforcer, and anarchist. She's been attached to a dozen employers in half as many years, using several different aliases. I'll be cautious. She's a wild card. She may prove a liability, but she could also prove very useful. Watch her. On to more immediate concerns. Nemero operates a major Schwarz gas mine on Hutter. The Empire wants access to Nemero's refined gas. Unfortunately, Fathra is tapping the same gas pocket as Nemro. We need to destroy Fathra's operations in the rust yards before Nemro's grinds to a halt. So it's a sabotage mission? That's correct. We will travel to Fathra's mining facility and place explosives in the drill shaft, destroying the equipment and collapsing part of the gas pocket. You'll need to strip a uniform and credentials off the facility guards to pass the final security checkpoint. You bet your Even ass. In disguise is imperative. Should be straightforward. Your disguise may not hold up under close inspection, so avoid conversation. The explosives have already been delivered to your room. Once you're finished, go back to Carol's Jarvis and make sure he knows what happened. Take the credit if you like. It'll be handled. Is there anything else? One more thing, Agent. Darth Jadis pays increasing attention to your work. You will reward success or failure appropriately, and I will not intervene. Report back after you've destroyed the mine and informed Carols of the results. Keeper out. All right, Keeper, you're out. The hell in the truck. We gotta go. Free money. Free real estate. Brr. Beep. All right, so let's head on through. Oh, wait. you gotta take the explosives with you. The boom booms. Dumbass. Okay, where are we heading to here? Ooh, shit. Clear over there. Bam. Magically, we're gonna teleport all the way over there. It's like a flashback. Back to Nom. Get off my dick. I'm trying to get across your stupid bridge here. Well, hello. This is too easy. Yay. Level 703. Ooh, free XP. Take a bomb to the eye. Not even a challenge. Yay.
Doom, 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 doom. This is a very ass, or long ass, I mean. Eh, yeah, whatever. It's a nice drive. Hello. Just want to use my friend. Not even a challenge. You gonna kill him or not, lady? God. We're in a hurry here. Uh, so we gotta put this one up there. Hello, friends. You my friend. Then stay down. Oh, I was gonna shoot him. Let me shoot one of them. Let me shoot decent. Bam. Oh sad. yeah, that's the shit. Boom. Clean up this mess. Okay, this needs to be a mouse wheel thing. This is too easy. There it is, right there. Got it. Nailed it. Okay, we're wearing a disguise. It doesn't look like it, but we are. We're all disguised up. Hello, friends. Stay down. Goodbye, friends. All right, you should just go back to healing. I like your filthy mouth, but it's, it's, it's yeah. I got this, girl. Not even a challenge. Eh, not even, not even close. Not even kinda, huh? You're right. What was I thinking? Someone clean up this mess. Ah, 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 ah. This Get blowed up. Someone clean up this mess. You've really got to stop saying that, though. You are becoming very annoying. They need a shut the fuck up button. Cartel representative identity confirmed. Oh yeah. Entry authorized. Hell yeah. Let's toss in a prize, shall we? Gas leak detected. Activating ventilation system. I don't know who Lockdown we pissed off, but somebody. Oh, yeah, complete. all of them. Recall all of them are angry. And security droids. And stay down. All right, so We gotta go all the way back here. Magically appear there. Three, two, one. Kablamo. Oh, it's so magical. Really? Bo 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 boom. Bo 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 boom. Smooth jerk 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 jerk. Jerk, 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 jerk. Look at all the missions we can do in here. Nah, I'm good. You shut up. You'll get the gory details after I report to Nemro. Figure you can wait that long? Looks like I'll have to. But you don't get... Blade, nice you decided to come by, but I was just telling Carol's I can't stay. I know you understand. Yep. That girl's a handful, but she's good at what she does. I'll give her that. What does she do exactly, besides swagger and carry a blaster? Officially, she's Nemro's chief enforcer. Truth is, most of the troops are terrified of her, so she keeps our people in line more than Fathra's. Anyways, I'm glad you're here. But those explosions in the rust yards, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Father's minds won't cause you any more trouble. <laughs> I thought you might have something to do with it. Good work, Blade. Good work. I like a person who takes initiative. With Father's minds broke down, we can increase production. Father will want revenge, of course, but we'll be ready. Look, I have something for you. You'll like it. I'll send it to your room. You've done good work for us. You deserve more than credits. Which reminds me, how long are you staying on Hutta? 
I really wish I knew the answer to that. Well, if you're still around in a few weeks, I'd like you to meet my sons. They'll be home from their trading expedition. I think you'd get along. Think about it is all I'm saying. Now get going. I'm sure you have other business to take care of. Yep. Got some more sneaking around to do. That's right. Sneaky little sneaky some bitches. Come on, Luti, we don't have time to waste here. Hey, girls. Too late. Hey there, you must be the blade. You made a mistake coming here. You're not leaving this place alive. You think? Let's find out. Okay, let's Get do. Get your guns out, folks. And stay down. What the fuck? I was right all along. How did I ever become so right? I've seen some weird shit, man. What the hell? That was weird. Maybe it was just the bottom of that. I think it was just the bottom of that. That looked weird as shit, though. Ooh, look, a, a prize. Wow, it's a knife. So I can stab somebody. Stab you right in the asshole. All right, honky tonk. I understand Nemiro Shvash gas production is back on schedule, Agent. Excellent work. Keep it up, and Darth Javis may loosen his grip on operations. However, I'm afraid unforeseen circumstances have caused a problem. You mean the people who broke into my room? No, that's a separate matter, and one I advise you to watch closely. But it isn't what concerns me now. Three days ago, Colonel Jarvis' sons encountered a Sith apprentice in Imperial space. A dispute broke out. One son died and the other was crippled. When Colonel hears that a Sith slaughtered his child, his sympathy for the Empire will evaporate. We can no longer use him to get to Nemro. This is an intelligence project. Sith shouldn't be interfering in our work. The Sith do what they will. We don't control them and we don't pass judgment on them. That doesn't mean they're right or that we obey them without question, but we phrase those questions carefully. We bide our time. Now, I have a plan to solve our present dilemma, but first we need Carol's out of the way. I'll handle it. I'm sending you an interference program on a computer spike. Go to Carol's suites in the palace. Activate the spike to black out his security monitors. You'll be able to eliminate Carol's and his bodyguards without being seen. When Nemro's people investigate, they'll recognize the jamming program as Republic technology. Let's hear some more. Fartherish and Nemro's Twi'lek advisor already expect Fartheri to seek revenge for the destruction of his mines. Our job is to show that the Republic helped Fartheri kill Carol's. Once Carols is gone, speak to Tarthlishen about his suspicions. As Carols' friend, you'll promise to do whatever it takes to find the assassins. Time to get to work. For now, get to Carols' suites and use the computer spike. We'll discuss more once Carols is eliminated and Tarthlishen's suspicions have been aroused. Keep her out. You bet your ass. Slice and dice. Hack the system. Which one of you wants to play? And stay down. What's up, bro? What's going on here? You thought you'd just go and switch sides? Damn you! I'm sorry, Carol. It's nothing personal. I don't understand. 
I helped you. I trusted you. We had a bond. And now you murder my men, wave a weapon in my face? But I guess that doesn't matter much. So let's go. You and me, Blade. The young punk against the old gang leader. You realize you won't last a minute. You think you're the first piece of scum who's tried to kill me? I was fighting thugs in Jaguna streets when I was half your age. I can handle you. Yeah, that's what people like to say, but they're usually completely wrong. Man, I forgot how much that energy starved the shit out of this. Someone clean up this mess. Yeah, who did? Free Healy stuff. Oh, let's go blame blame that poor unfortunate murder on somebody else. Piti do tenya go kaka jujo, da biska ku paliya. Chakita huta Kunta chuta Kaso ya li kuli ra Kanki kung What are you talking about? Carols is dead? Manchi do ti puna puna Kabuk nuni slemo Kabano tase makipuna Malituta udmishka Piti do tenya go kaka jujo, da biska ku paliya. I'll do whatever it takes to bring the killers to justice. Mana matota jispa micho. Kliska taka, ya yoska ukle yuga chesko pukuta. I'm pretty sure you said kaka at one point. Yinga yinga kichu. Shut the hell up. I'll look at Patbuka kap. Jesus, dude. Too much caca poo poo. Do guacamole. So, this is where you've been hiding. Nice. Is the blood on the floor fresh, or did that come with a room? Just what I've always wanted a pretty girl waiting for me at home. Nice. But that's not why I'm here. Not this time, anyway. You've been all over town racking up quite a body count. And I know what you did to Carol's. You're after something bigger than Emerald. I'm not sure what, and I'm not sure why. But I want in on it. You just made your last mistake, Gilio. I think I've got a few mistakes left in me. Hell yeah, she does. Too bad you don't want to be a part of them. Hold a moment, Agent. Violence may not be necessary. Hmm. What's this now? We know who you are, Kaleo Janus, and we are willing to offer you a deal. I am Keeper. I represent Imperial Intelligence, as does my operative. We are aware of your activities on Rat Attack, Ord Mantell, and Brentall 4, as well as your affiliations. Your skills could prove useful, and we are willing to offer you a place in our ranks. You would become a very well-paid servant of the Empire. I've heard worse propositions. What do you think, Agent? You want me on your side? Uh. I don't see why not. Sounds like fun to me. I was looking to trade up anyway. And I'm guessing I can ride you a ways before you break. Count me in. But call me a servant of the Empire again, and I'll bust your face. Charming. We'll discuss the details <laughs> later. As for you, she is a charmer. Carthusian is convinced that Bathra the Hutt is a major threat to business. Well done. Now we must bring Carthusian proof that Bathra has support from the Republic. The first step is to obtain a hollow disk from Bathra's palace. The disk contains hollow recordings of all Bathra's dealings. 
The hunt is too paranoid for his own good. You'll have to break into his archive to get it. It'll mean lifting security codes off the palace overseers. Like you said, paranoid hunt. Noted. Once you reach the archives, use this computer spike on the holodisc. It will be altered to show Fathra meeting with Republic officers. Then bring the forgery to Tothlijan. I could use a break from the tough jobs. Tothlijan convinced that his enemies are allied with the Galactic Republic, have no doubt. He will turn to us for help. We are in the end game. Leo will accompany you on this mission and will act under your command. Last time I went to Father's Palace, I had so many adrenals in my system, I was coming down for a week. This should be entertaining. Yep. Yeah, whatever. Just take that one. But I'm not going to change your damn right, face. Make me look good. Put that away for now. Let's go, girl. Alright, so we gotta go here. Easier than said than done. And we have arrived. Father's Palace. Same hut style, a lot more firepower. Ready to go in when you are. Do you think I would have had to remotely do that? Ooh, free EXP. I gotta take all these stupid things down. Four out of five, baby. Rise and shine. Probably ought to take the elevator, ding nut. Ooh, level two. My favorite level. <sighs> Hello, ladies.
Yay, leveled up. Malambiamgin, Hamgam Nea Bek Kabraka, Manala Yang Perlu, Amkat Kalami Naya Kira Nubua. Hello, Nan. What brings you down here? Father finally ordered you to check out the shooting? Nuli Lak Apa Jam Kamgram, Amka Nem Nang Nemua Inuk, Kali Ruma, Mereka Baka Lebek Ruma. I like that about you, Nan. You only bet on a sure thing. Jamgam Nukara Nukara. Come nam gum gek arega naya. Hmm. I take it you two know each other. Nan wanted me for himself when I got to Hara. He couldn't afford me. Lapo ram amka. Mam. While we're making promises, I'll try not to step on your corpse. Naya memgem kaligam. Gegwa nam karak naya memak. I knew coming here would be a good time. Hells yeah. Rise and shine. Well, I'll be damned. Bam right in the eye. That's it then. Better hope your boss knows how to make a convincing forgery. Of course. There's going to be a bloodbath once Nemro and Toplogen see what's on the disc. How do you know what's on the hollow disc? All I know is what your keeper told us. But I'm not stupid. If that disc really names all of Fathra's business partners, it probably identifies half the people in Jaguna. Merchants, gangsters, debtors, the usual scum. When Nemro gets a hold of it, he'll want revenge on anyone who dared to go to Fathra behind his back. There'll be bodies clogging the gutters for weeks. What are you up to, Kaleo? I wouldn't think you'd care what Nemro does. I don't, but I thought you might. If you're feeling queasy, you could always erase the extra data and scratch up the disc. Make it look like only the doctored recording miraculously survived the damage. So, we deliver Keeper's forgery without the real data. Nemro doesn't get his revenge spree. The risk is that Toplogen figures out you erased the good stuff. No. I'm not endangering the mission to protect the lowlifes of Hutter. Aw, oh, aren't we dedicated? I knew I'd learn something about you on this mission. Now let's get that thing to Toflogen and see what happens. Where the hell is he? All the way back to the shit bird motel. And we're back. Just like that. We're saved. Sure glad we have these stinking boots, because this would be a lot of walking. Walking on sunshine. Alright. Let's get in here and talk to Squidhead. Hello, Toplogen. The Red Blade claims to have something to show you. Manchi do ti puna puna. Kabuk nuni slemo. Mokili moklunki. Yes, shut up. I stole these recordings from Fathra's palace. Take a look. Poya toka changa gop. These are fabulous. I love them. Amazing. Iska taka. Yayoska ukle yuga chesko pukuta. That's what it looks like. What are you gonna do? A 
pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, pleasures and shit. Let's go. We got shit to do. Zoom, zoom. Let's go talk to the box again. The deed is done, Agent. Nemro is already contacting Imperial Embassies, looking to establish relations. He'll be eating out of our hands within the month. In the short term, our chemical and stimulant stockpiles will nearly double. In the long term, we're a step closer to bringing all of Hutter under Imperial control. Yes. I'll make my full report to Darth Jadis shortly. I expect you'll be very pleased with our work. That's excellent news, sir. Your future with Imperial Intelligence looks bright. But we can discuss that face to face. Your mission is now complete. There's a shuttle waiting for you in Jaguna. It will take you to Drummond Cast. Once you've arrived on planet, report to Imperial Intelligence Headquarters in the Citadel. I'll debrief you there. Acknowledged and understood. Khalil, you will also report to Drummond Cast. I assume Nemro won't be surprised by your sudden disappearance. He'll be hurt, but no one will be surprised that I left with the blade. And he's certainly not the first employer you've walked out on. In any case, I'll expect to see both of you soon. We're on our way. Good. Report to the shuttle as soon as possible. Keep her out. Alright, now let's go Rise kill the shine. real blade. Beat his ass. And we've got to get you in some new clothes, girl. I mean, they're alright, but my god, man. Alright, I think that'll do. That'll work. It's a mixture of, but she looks fabulous. Fabulous, darling. Fabulous. And she'll gut you like a pig. She's a ride or die. It's our favorite kind. Ride or die, girl. Ride or die, gal. Go to the spaceport. Atrodonomales. Smogas total gis baba apiatai. Very bad news. Gee, I wasn't expecting to hear from you again. Badra Nimos, Bran Nimos, Prostis, Cad at the very dug. Bataranai, Angomis, Akananon, Alas Protas era. You're right, this is bad. Small seo popotus mana ira patare, mana nan kali. Atrodonomales. Yeah, it's all right. Let's go whoop his ass. What's it today? Guns to Balmora, whole planet. Ass whippings for everyone. You get an ass whipping, and you get an ass whipping. Well, you look like a toad. So, you're the one who killed my men, the pretender who wants to be the blade. You must be the pirate who's too scared to use his name. I'm the Red Blade, you worm. The real Red Blade. And you've got one chance to explain yourself before I burn a hole through your head. Hard to explain myself to a dead man. You're a piece of work, but you're not leaving here alive. Okay. Make me look good.
bartender. Hmm. Thanks for the crap. You can have that. I don't want it. Modifications. Enhanced. Go. Alright. Yeah, this is crap. Let's take that off, put that on. Boink, boink, yes, boink, shine. yes. Okay, let's take that, switch that around. Let's remove that for the pink one. Uh, outfitter, uh, which one do we got here? Which one do we want? Probably this one. Commit, okay. Back to gear, put that on, get rid of that. Alright, and then. Hee hee hee, nice and pink. <clears throat> Two in the stink and one in the pink. I think I said that backwards. Two in the pink and one in the stink. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, let's go. I don't want to go to the Imperial Fleet. It seems boring. Hot. Yay, we're here. Ta-da! Magic. Alright, I don't want to pick one. Okay, we'll pick that one. The one in the middle. And now let's get rid of that. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Gross. Okay, we gotta make one pit stop down here real quick, and then it's off to the rodeo. Up here. Alright, let's go in here, let's drop this piece off. Oh wait, that's bound to me, you dumbass. Gotta use this one. Okay, this and this. There we go. What's up, girl? I think the hottest smell is off my boots. Should have kicked in more faces while it lasted. You talk about violence very casually. I'm a casual girl. You and me against the galaxy. Just sweat, blasters, and good times. We really need to get some privacy soon. You just let me know, Agent. Me? I've got no shame. Yeah. Ride or die, girl. Ride or die. You're the king of it. I love it. It's my favorite companion ever. It's a mouthy as shit, and we love it. Da -da -da -da. We gotta go get some supplies. Supplies, motherfucker. Galactic trade market. Sure it is. Sure it is. We're gonna go the longest way possible, though. We don't want to go all that slow-ass direct to. We want to go out and around. <laughs> and all that stuff. Slow motion. My god, if we was any slower. Let's speed that up a bit. Oh, that's so much better. Almost noticed a difference. And magically, they just appear in my inventory. You and me? Now we're yeah, more badass. Look at all that health. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Delicious. Okay, and then we gotta go get some supplies over here. Some fries. Uh, let's see here. Huh. 
used to show you how many people are on here. I mean, I can see how many people are on this planet up there. 46, I suppose. Thought it used to show an overall how many sons of bitches are playing. You won't find a better bargain. I will too. Your mom's gonna give me a better bargain. Oh, we gotta get an offhand too. Oof, I don't know if we can do that. I don't know how many of these pieces of shits we need here, so we're just gonna buy a bunch of shit. I just need I'm one of those. Time. I don't actually need that at all. Because I got the, a blue one. A blue one, but I need the offhand. Mm. I don't know that I have one. The stabby McStabby tool. What's up, people? I don't think I have one I can use for this feller here. Hmm. I don't. Son of a bitch. Got all my other shit here, but I don't have that. Well, that ain't no good. Huh. Man, about blowed my nose clean off my face. Supplies, motherfucker. Gotta go back to the trade market. I like having a ship more. Uh, let's go up here to the VIP. Oh, look, the elevator landed. Beep. Beep. Alright, around and around and around. Alright, so we need to do a little offhand action. Oh, look, it magically pooped up into my inventory again. Okay, and we need to stick a crystal in. Yeah, I wanted words, you stupid. I you need me? to stick another yeah, yeah. crystal in here. Collected. Colored crystals. Another crit one. There we go. Now our critical's higher. All better. Okay, and then I'll go through and make sure we got everything we need here. Place all that stuff in. Alright, I'm debating on this, though. I like this because she looks healthier. Here she looks sickly, like she's been sucking on a frickin' muffler pipe or something. So I think we're going to go with that for now. I mean, I, I don't, like, don't want to change her. I just don't want her to look sick anymore. Like she's been starving for meals and shit like that, or sucking on exhaust pipes. I think she looks good. Yeah, uh, I don't know. No, I can't do that. I don't like that. I don't like to change people. Just be who you are. It's who I. It's who we fell in love with. I don't want that shit changing. All right, come on, girl. Let's get her. Boop. All right, and I think that's it. That's where we're going to have to stop her at. And I think it's a good stopping point where everything's ready to kick some ass and take some names when we get back. We'll let Cleo go around and terrorize the village. Got all of our conversations up. And next one, we can get a, sh a ship. Get a battleship. Come on, girl. Let's go. Woo, yeah. I think she's looking sexy fine in her new outfit. Got her new duds on. She looks good. I like it. I think she's great. I think we look a lot better ourselves. Yeah, baby. I might change my face, though. Because I've noticed when we're talking, you can see those pieces out there. You know what? I got an idea. Let's look at something real fast here. I think this one. No, not the hair. No, that ain't what we wanted.
Huh. No, not not even a little bit, huh? I thought there was one that has a a better one than that. Maybe that's old school. Hmm, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, that one's right there. Let's open this up, zoom in. Put that away, fool. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, that's a lot better. There we go. Cyborg. Sweet! We got it. Nailed it. First try. Alright, so... That's pretty well it. I mean, nothing too special here. Didn't want to completely restart. Girl Earl and I. Yeah. I think we look good together. Got a good team going here. Yeah. I love it. Alright. So let's end it there. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.